welcome to the Slingshot channel. The Chinese company CN Direct sent me a few of these drones for free. I really love that and they are really great fun. I'm a bit heavy, otherwise it would lift me up in the air. <laughs> Let me show you its features. As you see it has four rotor blades. Um, actually the package comes with uh, spare ones, although they are well protected. It even has a little camera that can shoot stills but also record high definition video onto a micro SD card. You even get a reader from them. Um, it's really lightweight and it flies phenomenally. Let me show you how that works. You see it lifts off easily and you can bang to the side. You can go front and high. Really, really a cool toy. But as cool as it is, if you play with it yourself, it is really pesky if your neighbors come sniffing around with a thing like this. So we need protection against drones. And here is what I came up with. Meet the Drone Interceptor 3000. <laughs> Let me show you its features. It is really short, as short as a sort of shotgun, which it basically is. It is rubber oriented, of course. This way, this way it is uh, silent important. It also has two shots. It has an upper barrel and a lower barrel and the lower barrel shoots both barrels at the same time. So you can go one, two or you can go all of them at the same time. It shoots marbles. Why is that? Well, for a number of reasons. First of all, if they fall in your garden then uh, your lawnmower is going to shred them eventually. It's not like steel balls. Also, um, if they fall from the sky and hit someone on the head, it's not as painful as steel balls or lead balls. Plus also marbles are pretty cheap. Now I have loaded six marbles into each barrel and as you see it can hold up to 10 and then it's stopped by this rubber band so they can't fall out to the front. Now you can fire up in the air just like that and another shot. Seems like that one single marble hit it somewhere and didn't cause any damage. When I tried again it ran out of battery, so I think I gotta recharge it before I go for the full serious hunt. Okay, let's shoot at the cardboard box first. Not so bad. I think strong enough for a drone. True Knight sent me this great flashlight, the TN36UT. Actually it is really, really bright. Actually it's one of the brightest uh, flashlights um, that are available right now. In Germany it is illegal to attach a flashlight to a, a weapon like a crossbow like this one but of course you can still hold it against one. So I made this a little more comfortable by adding a little thing that eases it to hold the flashlight when you hold the weapon. And now this is also a super night hunter for drones. <laughs> so I will prepare a night hunt for a drone. I will need a uh, night where there's not too much wind and then we'll go and see if we can find a drone that I can kill. <laughs> Watch out, stay tuned. I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.